Hi there, YouTubers. Today's Sunday, October the 28th. Look what I've got waiting for me today. Outside. Yeah, it's been the past, past 24 hours have been fairly eventful. Um, about 700 miles, over a thousand kilometers west of here on the coast, there was an earthquake last night, 7.7 .7 magnitude, Richter scale, I guess. And it's one of the largest earthquakes in Canadian history. And I don't think there was a, well, that much damage done, fortunately, because it's a fairly remote location off the west coast, the northwest coast in the Pacific Ocean. Although there was a danger of tsunamis, um, you know, going up and down the coast, even up to, uh, to Alaska, like Juneau and Ketchikan, probably. But uh, as a result, I guess we felt it here. It was, uh, they said by the time, it was about 10 minutes later after the quake that it arrived here. And uh, everything's okay here though. Although everything was shaking inside the house uh, for about a minute or so. I thought, at first I didn't know what was going on, but I thought I was having some kind of a drug flashback or something. It was pretty weird. Um, and that everything was swinging for a while. And, uh, you know, you just realized that, hey, this is probably an earthquake, and it was. And uh, they said around here it would have been like about three in the Richter scale after traveling that distance, about 700 miles, which is fairly amazing, actually. But uh, I know a lot about meteorology. I know that meteorology is not about meteors, and volcanology isn't about vulcans, and record collecting is not really about records. It should be about the music. So... Uh, I know that uh, when you have a big earthquake like that, it, the earth quakes so much that it brought three inches of snow out of the sky. That's the relationship. It's organic. It's uh, when the earth shakes, the sky shakes, and when the sky shakes, it drops snow. So we had three inches of snow last night because of the earthquake. And I guess if it was a full moon, we would have had six inches of snow because with the full tide and the full moon and stuff, it just makes it snow that much heavier. Everything is related one thing to another in science and meteorology. But here's a... Uh, yeah, three inches of snow. It's like... like that, I guess. Notice my license plate, LPJ, is that stands for LP Junkie. I was watching Billy the Exterminator this morning. He's really good at not killing the animals. If, uh, if Billy was going to capture this snow, he'd probably catch it in a live trap and relocate it to a ski hill or something instead of killing it. But I'm now faced with shoveling. Got some shoveling to do. Good exercise. Those of you who are on the East Coast awaiting the arrival of Hurricane Sandy, I'm thinking about you, and we're all thinking about you. Um, don't put your uh, records up in the attic. I don't know if that would be a good idea, because according to uh, Billy the Exterminator, that's where the venomous spiders live. They live in people's attics down south, so please don't do that. I hope everybody's okay. Next day or two in the East Coast could be pretty rough. Take care, everyone.